interestingly enough, growing up in small town Saskatchewan, North Battleford was my home. Um, ultimately, it looked like as I was coming out of high school that the two areas I wanted to look at for university were engineering and business. And it was almost a flip of a coin, but I think my mom, who had uh, attended university, uh, might have dated an engineer, so she kind of guided me towards engineering over, uh, uh, over business as a, as a first degree. And uh, my grandfather was a steam engineer, and so there was a bit of that talent pool lying in the family. So engineering became my first program, my first love, and um, ultimately I, could, I worked as an engineer for about three, four years at one of the big oil companies. Uh, but discovered that I wasn't, I really wasn't passionate about engineering. I was passionate about business, and I was, um, I'd been studying, for example, all through high, or all through university, I'd been studying cover to cover the Financial Post, which at that time was only a twice a week publication, but I still remember it showing up, and I'd take that, and I'd let the engineering stuff sit, and I would study cover to cover the Financial Post. And so I was kind of getting an education in terms of what the real world side of business was all about, to the extent that the press is accurate. But I was studying it and learning it, and I knew who the people were, who the players were, as I finished my engineering degree. So you were really thrilled by the business side. And I understand that you actually started a, a sort of an investment uh, club in those times. C can you share some of uh, your excitement when you started the uh, investment club and what was your first, uh, I don't know if you remember, the oh, first thought you kind of remember that wow that's the one that I study hard and then uh, got, got some good uh well, there was, in fact, uh, what happened was there was nine of us each put up $200, so we had $1,800, which, remember, minimum wage at that time was $1.65 or $1.95, so $200 from each of us was a, a fair bit of coin, and there was nine of us who happened to all live at the residence, and a couple of engineers, a couple of commerce students, and we'd get together every couple of weeks and uh, pretend that we knew what the stock market was all about. When was that? And uh, that was in 1977, 78, mm -hmm. 79, so right, 78, 79. And I remember our first two stock picks were Numac Oil and Gas and Azamara, Azamara Energy, I think it was at the time. And uh, at the end of the day, each of us got back two hundred and twenty-one dollars and some cents for our two hundred dollar investment. Oh. So <laughs> we felt that we'd been successful in terms of economics, but more importantly, we were successful in terms of process, spending some time understanding how the market worked and. Uh, uh, it was an enjoyable process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, learning about those companies, I suppose, and uh, uh, yeah, studying the, the, the financials of those companies. The first, the first bite, you know, mm -hmm. understanding how the stock market worked, realizing that uh, you know, just the the, simp the simplest things, buying and selling, paying a commission, starting to follow research, starting to understand, um, you know, market trends. You know, those were just that was early days, but it was uh, it was a start. Mm -hmm.